I said, that does not mean that Uju was bad. If you check it very well, it simply probably means he is not letting them do their dubious corruption. Civil servant in Nigeria is only in Nigeria you get to hear that uh, civil servants have not been paid. But they know they, they know they resign. Imagine going to work where you have not been paid for months because majority of them don't really, they don't really care about the salary. It is about the corruption, right? Which is the order of the day. So if a minister comes in and she just suddenly stops them from doing all of that, why she is the one enjoying the whole thing, they will hate her. Oh, they will hate her so much. They will be gossiping about her or him. They will be talking about him then saying, yeah. they will be praying. Some will even be praying for his or her removal. No, it can be very bad. I mean, it can be very, very uh, serious to the point that they can become diabolical. I'm talking about uh, doing juju, voodoo. To either get the minister, minister should die or fall sick or get sacked. So whenever any of that now happens, they will now celebrate. You will think, oh, that guy must be very bad. No, it's not bad, bad that way. Okay. It is, uh, like I said, the two, either of the two, or just the two options I gave you earlier. I am not really trying to uh, bust your bubble, as some of you actually live in that bubble a lot until you now realize that you are only being deluded. And this is not wishing Nigeria bad. Nigeria is already done for, if we, were, if we are being honest. If Numbu and his gang are not introducing anything new, you are done for. And I am here to remind you every now and then, yeah, you are done for. What they are doing now is to see if they can get more and more of them to tell you that whatever you are going through in Nigeria now, just keep going. There is no reprieve. There is no reduction. And maybe others will keep pushing to see if they will get appointed. And they will come and tell you, right, to be patient. You need to be patient. Mr. President is doing a lot. He's working hard. It's working hard to make sure that all oh, this so this country, you know, this country don't spoil. Yeah, 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 yeah. So today, uh, the IMF have now downgraded Nigeria's uh, growth prospects. You know what that means, right? No? Okay, I'll tell you. Even though you may still not understand it, but I'll try to make you understand, okay? There is a growth uh, prospect for countries that will say, ah, this country, will, if everything is going on well, for example, you have improved electricity, that there is no longer uh, the collapse of your national grid, and there will not be any collapse because you have done in the last one year, you have improved the infrastructure of your, um, your power, your power infrastructure. So if things stays this way, that Nigeria is now generating 10,000 megawatts, distributing 9,000, or distributing the whole 10,000. If things can stay this way, eh? and uh, Nigeria stopped importing uh, fuel, and stopped paying subsidy, by the way, now saving money on that. So they will now use all these indices, right? Check and check and say, the economy is expected to grow by a certain percentage, including there will be job creation, okay? Um, 24 hours electricity for 60% of the country, that will boost your economy. Indeed, and if businesses, uh, the lending rate is going down, inflation is going down, so you can now project and say, Nigeria will grow this year by, percent by five percent or by six percent and that simply means that if the all things being equal 
in another 12 months, eh, they are, Nigeria would have created at least maybe 20, no, that's too much, maybe 5 million jobs. People who have no job now, they would have job. Then businesses that are holding up, they will come back and they will begin, you know, like that. So with this, Nigeria will increase the forex intake, which is, you know, forex dollars and all that to shore up uh, your, um, your reserve. These are positive things that economic projectors and the others, they work on and say, Mm, things will be better. So, IMF released their own forecast and said, sorry, uh, Nigerians, it's not looking good. Uh, before, you know, you have been declining. There was a time they said, this was about uh, nine years ago, before APC, Nigeria was growing at a pace of 7.5 and when APC came in, it has been eh, a downward spiral. And you can tell, you can feel it. I mean, you know that what has happened? Millions of jobs have been lost. Tens of thousands of businesses have folded up, left Nigeria. The value of your Naira has plummeted, which means it has crashed. To the point that when Bokuari handed over to Ifnumbu 17 months ago, the economic projection, growth projection was put at 3.3%. Now the new projection is that it don't, it don't crash at 2.9%. And they are being generous. Listen, they are the same people who said, whatever hardship you are facing now, eh? Now, for 15 years, you're not going to take face time before things will begin to change. You get in 2014, Nigeria's economy was rebased. I was valued at $568 billion. And this was a projection then that in another five years, Nigeria will become a trillion dollar economy. Here you get now. But that was not to happen. No thanks to Barack Obama and the American Democrats that brought this idea of these terrorists that took over Nigeria. So when Bokwari handed over to Tifnumbu, I mean, isn't, isn't it obvious, right? Nigeria economy was said to have shrunk by half, more than 50%. It was valued at $248 billion GDP. Guess what the APC said? Eh? They said, this is the true value of Nigeria. How? All of you who had jobs back then, who have now, those who no longer have any job, others went on Japa before things got this bad. Some of the people who were in Nigeria who had jobs in 2014, 2015, some of them are now living in Canada, UK, America, and all over the world. They don't Japa. Others went no feed Japa or who lost their Japa ambition. They are inside in Nigeria now. Some of them are now down for driver, taxi driver, a Okada rider, and any other thing that anything they can do. For real. So their value and the value of the country has shrunk so much that it shrunk by half. Nigeria lost half of its own GDP. Right now, I'm going to, in 2015, they said that uh, the per capita income of an average Nigerian was somewhere around 1,900 US dollars. In 1999, eh, the uh, GDP, I'm uh, sorry, per capita income of an average Nigerian was uh, $998. In 2000, 
it improved to 1,900 or so in 16 years. Guess what is the new projection? Where's my phone? So I can give you the accurate uh, figure. Eh, 2024. 800 and something is what your per capita income is now. You are the poorest of the poorest of that continent. From here to the bottom barrier, I mean, uh, bottom barrier, is that not what it's called? See, when APC, a BKB, it was even actually really good. Listen, you know, in 2010, Nigeria's GDP per capita was over $2,000, 2000 Three hundred and twenty-eight dollars in two thousand and eleven. It was two thousand five hundred and forty-three dollars. It go be like that. They speak grammar. No, it's not grammar. Eh? It's called value. And then you can tell yourself now how much you have shrunk. I'm gonna. Hi, it's you in 2012, your per capita to GDP was 2,756 US dollars. In 2019, wow, it was, so 2013, it was nearly $3,000, $2,998. Obviously, now I mean, you could, this is what it was. People had money. Una tu bele food. So you started shouting change. In 2014, it was put at a 3,222 per capita. An average person who is uh, a graduate who kind of find either you are, is either you find a job or uh, you start a business. Right? Nobody say poor people know they will. What people do, but it was still below what could have been alarming. Then APC happened in 2015. From 3,200, it dropped to 2,700. By 2016, it dropped again to 2,176. By 2017, it dropped again to 1,968. By 2018, it dropped further to one, I mean, to 2,153. By 2019, it jumped up a bit to 2,361. By 2020, COVID is stood, I mean, stood at $2,089. By 2021, hmm, it dropped a little bit to 2,089. By 2022, oh, it jumped up again to 2,198. By 2023, drastically, it dropped down to 1,600. But this 2024, a year and seven months, I mean, sorry, a year and five months after Tifnumbu, it is now looking at... Eight hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Are you following? Eight hundred and seventy-seven dollars. That is why you are seeing a lot of people now begging. They are begging to the point that even the Ronukus are concerned. Look at this. Somebody said, "Dear progressives, be bad supporters." Hmm. APC supporters, members, you decided to support PBAT because you believe in him. I don't think any of you was promised anything in return for your votes or loyalty. Using the current economic situation or your support for PBAT as a yardstick for begging is now becoming not sitting and totally uncalled for. Suddenly, you don't have jobs. You can't find your feet. You can't feed your wife. You are now in financial ruins. Really? Need to stop. APC is neglecting their supporters. APC this, APC that. 
Where the supporters promise to be placed on monthly allowance or what? It is getting so annoying to see all this unnecessary soliciting and entitlement mentality. Really? Et pas mon cher? Let us see your handiwork, businesses, post your CVs, develop your skills, rediscover yourselves, and cut your coat according to your material. Enough of this begging. Ha ha. Now, so Mama T, can't take us. Say, no, 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 no. Let's be serious, please. Eh? We all know it is difficult. Yes, it is. But all we keep saying is do something. It isn't bad to solicit for help, but. Let it be tangible and not always. <laughs> I have sold cheap jewelries. I moved to cement. Mind you, I was not having penny then. But I will go to sites, link builders to suppliers, and got between 17 naira to 120 naira per pack. When cement became expensive, I started drinks. A father here borrowed me. Father here, that means somebody where, where she begged for money. A father here borrowed me 150k to do one supply. Then, and told me to keep using the money. When I stopped cement and attempted to, to return, he said, Loma Luno, Magba Lita. Until today, he never collects. I bought 70k container and started the drinks. I went into Pepsi Delashi with 2 million to buy bottles. Someone here took me to the cooperative. Today, I've added POS to my business. So the cash from sales is used for POS with 100 naira charges on 5,000. I do nothing less than 150k per day. That is additional 3k interest. Do something, please. Now the shake be that way. Because you may see some people on social media attacking you, abusing you every time you expose that if Numbu and his gang and their failure. And they will come and attack. Where's your father? Shut up your mouth. Mate, if Nubu saw it, they are hungry people. Hungry people. Those ones who became influencers, APC, Egbeke Best influencers on social media, eh? majority of them, eh? they don't get hypertension. Hypertension because um, all these faceless sewage dwellers, the former Buari Diots, the Buari Dens, the Buari de Dens, the Buari de Notus, the Buari de Jatus, the Buari Shukus, the Ungozi Aris, the Uneka Aris, the obedient fools, the sophisticated morons, and the unboot slaves, including the voluntary slaves of this world. The Lagos Abobakus, Oshogu Alimanjuris, hmm? The crumb eaters, the crumb chasers, the ass lickers, the all risers, the bad stars, the bad idiots, eh? the side barbarians, and all of them includes, right? They are going after the supposed influencers. Esa, please check your inbox. You know, you will see somebody will come on on social media. I don't know if you see majority, many of them anymore, right? They will come and say, uh, 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 we need to we need to know that this country, eh, uh, Ashiwaji is trying to rebuild this country. Ashiwaji is trying to make sure that uh, all this our life before, 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 eh, uh, we are living fake life. Now, this is the life now. Uh, bread is now 1,000 naira. Uh, spaghetti is now 1,002. Uh, indeed. So, must you eat spaghetti? A bag of rice is now 120,000. Must you eat rice? Eh? This and that. Let us support Ashiwaju. Let us pray for Ashiwaju. So when you finish that, and they are all coming there. Thank you, Jari, my sister. God bless you, Jari, my sister. That's what I told my neighbor. Eh? He said he, is, he can no longer eat egg. I said, must you eat egg? Must you eat egg? So after they all comment and drop all that comments, and you see this 100 comments, 200 comments. God bless you, Jari, my sister. Me, I, I am standing by Ashiwaju. Me, I am standing on the mandate. They will now send a message and say, please, can I see 1,000, please? I have not eaten since yesterday. That is what prompted this message. So we need to stop begging. Go and do something with your life. Here you get. Uh -huh. So after the post, I'm beginning to say, thank you, Jari, my sister. May Nigeria succeed. 
When you say me Nigeria, not happen to you. Some will say, me has you had you happen to me, happen to me. Me, I believe in Nigeria. Me, I love Nigeria. Me, I believe Nigeria is going to be great. As you had you, we fix it. We all know the way. Nalayo. Behind those comments you see on social media, eh? This uh, sewage dweller, this uh, political jobbers, these cretins, they will now go and send messages to these people. Eh? Harujile, please, sir, can I see 1,000 naira, sir? Please, I have not, I, I don't have any money to feed my children. I have not eaten for the past two days. Majority of them, they have grown to have hypertension. They don't, they don't read their messages anymore. They will promote Tifnumbu. And everybody who is a Tifnumbu sewage dweller, they will go into their private team box. Say, eh, eh, sir, can I say to, can I say anything, anything just to, I've not eaten since two days. So these influencers can no longer take it. They now have to come out and say, we need to stop this begging. We need to stop this. This begging is not. <laughs> Ah! Oh, more. Anyway, the said they have shared 38 billion naira to these cretins from six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Here, in case if you never collect your own. Okay? 30. <laughs> Dr. Roland. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Hey, God bless you. That's uh, a generous uh, doctor there. Dr. Roland, in the mouth. Indeed, I have to drink uh, my tea. Everybody is deceiving themselves. You get that? Trying to be like, I know why I supported Ashwaju. I know that Ashwaju is uh, an Iranian, Iranian. Some of them are displaying their loyalty so that because they believe that these influencers, then they give them money. These people, these people who are defending Ashiva, you know, because if you have uh, 200,000 followers on Twitter and you are APC, you are influencer. So they believe that maybe they will give you money so you can share some of the money. Mm -hmm. In fact, eh, if somebody come out and say, I have been so hungry. I have not eaten for the past two days. And some of you begin to kind of troll them. Now that hunger will kill you. She be, she be last year, you they shout, uh, Emilio Kong, Emilio Kong. Now that hunger will kill you. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody will just be like, hey, uh, Felix, send me your account details. I will, I will give you something so that this, this obedient that are trolling you, this obedient, eh? You are listen, you should continue to pray for Ashiwaju. They will now send 50,000. Sometimes they will just send 20,000. And then this weary will now be like, Thank you, Jari, my leader. We never stop following Ashiwaju. I know that. I know Ashiwaju that I support. I know that Ashiwaju will do everything. Ashiwaju will. Uh, by the time the 20,000 finish, the weary can't come out to come and ask for another one because there are many people who need money. Now, a lot of them have become so broke that they hardly come out and say, send me your account details. Send me your account number. Everybody, don't help everybody. God, if it's tied to Lushi. I told you that before. You go touch everybody. Now, small, small. So the influencers themselves, who call they use Thai style, because they know that with uh, 500,000 followers, that's something. They can say something and say, oh, well, this country, things are getting tough. If you be one uh, PA or SA of one governor or one uh, or Tifnumbu say PA or SA, that will just say, ah, my ego, I saw your post. Uh, come on, you know that we are trying. Uh, you know that uh, you, somebody like you, you should, you are insider. Because they always make them feel like they are part of it. Here you get now, once you have a, a sizable number of followers on social media, eh? Suddenly, Somebody who is a PA or SA to Tifnumbu could just message you and you go to see your life done better. You could call the thing say you are also insider. So because of that, eh, you have to help them to continue to deceive other sewage dwellers. 
smiling around your page. But of late, some of these people said, don't they turn to Ulushi? 500,000 followers said, no, they pay the bill anymore. Yeah. Rather, they will just kind of, you know, say, I mean, it means if they suffer. Everybody is averting everybody. You said, go and do something, go and find something to do. So, Tifnungu said they have shared 38 billion, 720 million, 650,000 naira to 774 local government areas. So, if you are an Abobaku that has not received his own share of this money, you may need to carry placard. Yeah, you may need to carry a placard and say, you know, Coletto. They said they've given to traders, artisans, creatives, ICTs, food services, 